Oh my god, it's the Monster X episode! I watch you TV and they have the Wee Bear Bears. And there's that episode with Monster X and they're giving a commercial about it right now. Lols. I've seen a little excerpt online, it's super cute. Anyway. Let's uh, put that on mute real quick. So I got my snack box. Yo, so let's talk about food real quick. I don't know why I'm getting down like this. <laughs> so, so this time around with Global Package, I did Deluxe. Uh, deluxe Package. And it was weird because this time around we didn't get a meal. And usually we always get a meal unless it's Economy Package. We just got the voucher. Because Economy Package, they get a voucher. So when I did Economy for Elysian... I got that, the voucher for the, the sum restaurant in Chungdam. But this time, that's what we got. And, uh, of course, we get, like, the snack after the bu after the bus. After the concert. Uh, but usually the snack is, like, cookies, like, candy from Korea, like, little things like that. So it's not, like... It, it, it's a snack, basically. Um, but luckily, like, my, my friend and I, we... After our um, event, which was watching the that present movie, whatever, when um, EXO was in Hawaii, says so it's short. When we finished that and we still had a lot of time, we just uh, went to Chongdam ourselves and went to eat there because we were not going to be taken to eat there. So we just had to use the coupon in our own time. So we had a lot of free time. And since we knew how to get back to the hotel, we just went on our own and then... To meet up with the the group again to go to the concert anyway back to food <laughs> um so the snack box actually this time around came with a sandwich like it's an actual like you know something you can really actually get somewhat foolish on you know some um, fruit a little fruit thingy which has cherry tomatoes two grapes and like half of a tangerine I still don't get this whole tomato thing, putting it in fruit salads here in Korea. I just, I can't. <laughs> I'ma still eat it though. <laughs> and then some like little cookies. Ooh, I love these. Yo, these are bomb. I like the raspberry one. But this one is vanilla and chocolate. And then of course a napkin and whatnot. And then we also got a juice, but I put that away because I got myself some pear juice. Anyway. Dude, the concert... Ow, that hurt my butt. <laughs> the concert was so good. So, me and my friend... So, we got a... You know, it's always a random draw. And our ticket, we were, like, right next to those, like, little... Side stages that they had to, like, go up the stairs. We were literally, like, right up against that. So, I have to stop really good. I have camps. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh... oh. Especially Kai in particular, he got like super close to us at one point. And he like put his head like towards us, like as if we should like touch his head. But I didn't like dare to do that because, you know, I didn't want to like respect his space. I don't want to like just like, you know, like touch him. But it kind of reminded me like when Chino did that and then like the fans like touched his head. Kai did that towards us, but I didn't want to be like the first person to do it. So I didn't do it. I didn't dare to. But anyway, like, oh my God. I have like several like close fan cams. Oh! And just, oh my god, crazy. And I ended up trading, you know, like the lights that comes with a card. I ended up trading it for Chanyo. So I had, well, initially I had Baekhyun, but then, you know, my friend's bias is Baekhyun. So I just gave, or we like traded each other. She got Suho, and I got Baekhyun. So I gave her Baekhyun. So I had Suho. Then, after watching the movie at Coex, um, we went in the fourth floor, and a lot of the Times fans are there, like, trading cards and stuff. And so I was able to trade for a Sehun, um, because the other girl really wanted to also. I was like, okay, sure. And then, after getting to the venue for the concert, um, I wanted to try to get the green brace bleh, bracelet, but you know, all the bracelets had already sold out, so I was like, okay, whatever. Um, so then, like, 
I was just looking around and stuff, and then I found someone who had Chanyo, and I was able to get Chanyo. So yeah, I ended up with his photo card, which is cool. What's up? <laughs> Got this view of eleven. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show the merchandise, both the ones that I bought, and the ones that came with Global Package, because you know Global Package, we get those freebies. So yeah. So let's start, I guess, with the freebies. So we're starting with this one. So we got a ring. Super cute. So this is what the ring looks like. You can see the EXO emblem. Dude, why does it keep blurring out? Okay, you can see the EXO emblem. And then it's just like a diamond thing there. It's really adorable. Stop the video by accident. So we got the ring. Um, another thing we got is like a like a tote bag, like one of those like reusable bags you can use uh, at the supermarket. And it just has the logo of Exploration on it, and the bag says EXO, which is pretty nice. I like that. What else did we get? Oh, we got this like makeup pouch they called it. So. You can't really tell all that much, but it does say exploration on it. It's just like all the glitter stuff is like all over the place. So it's kind of like stuck. It's all like accumulated into what, like three spots and it's like not moving. But yeah, it's just like a black pouch. Here, let's just open it up. So, we open the zipper here. So it's clear. So you can see like all the glitter stuff is just like stuck in certain parts because like I guess the clear part, like the in-between, there's just not much space going on or something. I don't know. So it's just like all stuck together. So there's that. So for if you were an ace member, then you can get this card for free postcard and it has like their signatures and actually Messages in English from all of the members because um, we also have like the the other one that came in here So like part of the freebies that we got is you know Like we can write a letter to EXO so we get this little packet that comes with like colored pencils the paper we can use There's some like wipes in here for us I suppose and like stickers and stuff Let me just show the stickers real quick. The stickers are pretty cute These are the stickers I really like them. They're cute. So yeah. Um, so in here we also have a postcard with messages from them, but in Korean. But with the XOL Ace, we could get this English one. So I can read them again. So Suho says, Welcome to Exploration. It's time to explore our planet together with our XOL. Let's go. Kai's. <coughs> chokes <laughs> we finally meet again at our concert let's have fun that was kind then we have chen long time not see xol how was your flight hope you had a hope you have a good time traveling in seoul chanyeon thank you global xol for always supporting me i promise we will meet again very soon please wait for me stay healthy cute then we have baekhyun please have the best time with us we are one and Sehun? Sehun. Dear XOL, we missed you so much. Enjoy the show. Oh, yeah. Got that. And then. What else? Uh, some folders. So there was like three of them because I opened this yesterday. So there's three folders within a folder. <laughs> So once again, it's just like the logo of like exploration with the planet on it and whatnot. They're pretty nice. I like them. So this tag, like a luggage tag with the exploration logo on it. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this is the, the case that the ring came in. It has the logo on it. 
I think that's it for like the free stuff. I think this came with the light stick. Wait, how did I get this? <laughs> I don't even remember. I just have so much stuff that just all becomes one. Boom. <laughs> so, yeah. I think it did. Yeah, it came with the light stick. I forgot about this one. So this was another freebie that we got. An umbrella. Because this past week in Korea, it's just been raining, raining, raining. Last weekend for the concert weekend was also rainy. Um, so they provided us with an umbrella. Which I haven't opened yet. I kind of, I don't know if I want to open it entirely. But you can see that it has like the exploration logo on it. And it's kind of universe looking because there's like white dots and stuff. But I don't want to open it right now. <laughs> and then have to like put it away because it's so like nicely, neatly in the casing right now. So I want to leave it like that. I don't know. It's supposed to, I, I assume it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So maybe I'll end up using it tomorrow. But it, we'll see. We'll see. Because I brought it with me today thinking, you know, it was going to rain. And it, did it rain today? It rained yesterday. Today, it did rain. No, it rained yesterday. So I remember walking to Shake Shack with my friend and it was raining. But today I don't think it rained at all. Or maybe it did this morning. You know what? I don't even remember, but whatever. Okay, so now I guess I'm going on to the stuff that I bought through pre-order of Global Package and whatever else, I guess. So with the pre-order, I got the exploration pin um this one i got by making line the day of i went last saturday to the concert might talk about that in a bit on how i got my ticket because it was not global package um i got the chanyo exploration photo card thingamajig whatever it is <laughs> i got chanyo keychain the sparkly glitter one and then this, the, what is this, the key ring strap, Chanyo, of course. Um, I think that's it for what's on my, in my purse that I put. So now the rest of the stuff I got. What else is there? Okay, I have the, I also got the Kai key, key ring strap, whatever it's called. Um, what else? I got this. Okay, so this was like the battery pack. This was me thinking like it was like a, a like smaller than this, and it was like for putting one battery in it. I'm like that's ridiculous for like sixteen or eighteen dollars for that, but it's actually a rechargeable like bottom half of the light stick. So the light stick, like you know how you can unscrew the bottom part for the batteries. You know this part here. Well. That's what this is, but it has a rechargeable battery in it. So you can charge this and then use it as part of the light stick, which is pretty darn cool. I had no idea that's how it was going to be. So it's pretty neat. I also, I've been wanting to get like a jewelry holders of some sort. And then I saw that they were selling one for merchandise. So I took the chance and I bought it. So I think it's supposed to be all black. So let's see. Okay. So here it is. Oh, it's very lightweight. Lighter than I thought it was going to be. So you can see the EXO logo on it. It's really nice. I like it. I got the, oh. The EXO. <laughs> the key rings. Well, key ring, but it's like each letter is like individual. You can put it together. It's really cute. I got the uh, what is this called? The banner slogan towel. So it's basically the same picture as like you know we've been playing. I haven't opened this yet, so well, I wonder like why does it look all completely white? That's weird. Ah, because there's like a paper. But yeah, so it's basically this whole it has like the planet on it and stuff mm. 
you know, this whole mess, but I don't want to like open it completely right now because I'm trying to go to sleep first. So, so I got the water bottle strap so you can like hook the water bottle here and then it's like a thing that you can wear around your neck. So I think that's it. And then they give you the, oh wait, no, 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 that's not it. I got the EXO tape. So it comes in this little container. It's like clear. So this is like the tape. So it has like stickers of the members and their name and like, like little messages and stuff. So it looks pretty cool. Cause it kind of reminds me of washi tape, but this is like completely clear. So it doesn't feel like a typical washi tape, if you know what I mean. So they're kind of like papery. This is more like plastic. I only bought one thing at the sum store because I already bought a ton of stuff. So I was trying to calm down. You know what I'm saying? So I got the, um, they have this like passport case thing. So very cute. Oh, I was trying to upside down. Oops. And it comes with this notepad inside. So basically a case for your passport. And then it also comes with a stamp. And so they have one for each member. So of course I got the Chanyo one. And when you stamp it, it's this what this says here and it's in red so this is the stamp and yeah i think that's about it that's all i got oh wait and real quickly i also got this the water bottle which i thought was pretty cool that they because it has like all their the numbers of each member on it and like the first letter of their name and then they have a color for each day of the weekend and you know how like um, every day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the two weekends was like a different color theme because of the album. So today was the green day for Coco Bop. So they were selling the green water bottles at the store, which was cool. All right, so back to what I was saying. I made line the day of, and I got the pin. I got one of the bracelet things, a purple one, because that's when I went last weekend. And I got, <laughs> so these were random, they're like little fortune ca scratch cards or whatever. And then it comes with a, a photo card. And I actually got freaking Chanyo. What do you know? So yeah. Um. Anyway, back to what I was going to say. So the way I got this ticket last weekend, like, it, I don't even know how to start it. Because it's just like, I guess you could say it's kind of. I don't want to say controversial, but I just didn't really like how it all happened. Um, so basically, I went to the venue because I was going to get merch because um, some of the stuff had sold out. Oh, which also reminds me, I got the Chanyo. This, because it's sold out online because the stuff will sell out for global package for some of the stuff. What's interesting is that they sold out like the first stuff that round that went on sale, like you could get 10 of each item. So they had like the shirt and like basically like the stuff that went on sale first online as well. Like that was the stuff that was available at first. And then they had a second round when they added all that new stuff, like the glitter keychains, that tape, um, different photo card stuff and whatever. But anyway, um, I wanted to get a ticket either for last weekend, one day of last weekend, or I was going to try for the last day, which is tomorrow. But since I did it last weekend, I'm not going to go to the concert tomorrow or try to or whatever. Um, so I was going to try to make the line the day of, cause I've done that many times for different concerts that I've been to here in Korea and including Exos for, um, Exordium Dot. I did global package, but then for the first night. Um, cause there was two concert nights that time around. So the second night I did not have a ticket, but I managed to make line the day of, and I got a ticket. I went, so I was going to get a ticket and I was going to try to get one for me and my friend, but that didn't work out, which I'll get to why in a bit. I got to the venue like around six, six thirty AM on sat last Saturday to see if I can make a line for um, the concert ticket. So I was like, okay, you know what? Forget the merch. I'm going to try for the concert tickets so I can get one for me and my friend. 
But I didn't see a line anywhere, and, like, no one was near the ticket booth. Because typically, the line is somewhere near the ticket booth. Or it's just somewhere, like, obvious and visible. Like, if you ever see, like, a super long line that's not in the merch area, like, that's typically the line for the tickets. So I didn't really see anything, so I was like, okay, this is weird, but okay. So I just made line for merch, and then I ended up getting the merch, because the merch opened at 10 a.m. So I did that, and then I just kind of sat around for a bit. Like, I asked security, I'm like, oh, are you guys selling tickets today? And, like, since we couldn't really communicate well due to language barrier, like, we use, like, Google Translate, and, like, what the translation said was, like, I don't know the quantity. So that made me think that they were going to sell tickets that day. And they did. But I was just like unsure what was going on or whatever. So I just kind of sat around for a bit on the side. And then what's interesting is like while I was sitting there, um, this girl sat next to me and she was, um, she could speak English. So we started talking. And then that's how I got to know about this like secret line that was being made by fans so, like, not even by the company or, like, security or anything. This was made by the fans. And, like, people were making this line for, like, a day or two with, like, check-in times at, like, super random times, like, in the middle of the night, like, really early in the morning. And, like, and if you don't check in at those times when they call your name, then, like, your number in place in line is canceled, which is... That was, like, one of the things that I thought was... that bothered me. Because I'm like, what's the point of having the number of place in line when it's going to get canceled? You, you know what I mean? But I was like, okay, whatever. So that's how I found out about the secret line. Because she was showing me like pictures that were posted online. Um, like giving directions to where the line was at. So, I mean, it was, it was rainy on Saturday. So maybe that's why they were like under some bridge apparently is what it was. But it was just like so out of the way and so like unless you knew to where to find that information which I think was from Twitter but honestly I don't know um like how was that how was I supposed to know that or anyone else who's trying to make line you know so well <coughs> but anyway the line by that time the line had moved next to the venue because the girl showed me the picture of where the line was and I'm like oh I recognize that place so I was like okay so after talking to this girl like she ended up leaving because she was gonna go do something um so then I was like okay I know where this place is so I'm gonna go check it out so I go over there and I see the line there and then she, the, what she had been telling me so there was like a barrier um in front of the line and at the back of the line so like apparently security was saying like when that girl was trying to make line security was saying like oh no one else is allowed in line and so on so like she had asked them like oh so how can i make line for tomorrow blah blah, blah so on and so forth so the girl had told me like oh they're not gonna be selling tickets anymore today so i was like oh dang so that kind of like bumped me out so i thought of leaving but i was like no nah, i'm gonna stick around i ended up doing that and then so i went to the the area where the girl had showed me the picture of like where the line was now so I just like sat at a bench nearby and I was just kind of like observing the line um like seeing like what's going on weighing the situation like I wanted to ask someone like if I can join the line or something like that but I was kind of like nervous about it like I didn't know what to do so I just kind of sat on a bat on a bench to the side and then like I noticed like um something was going on at the end of the line and I saw like there was these girls that came over and they had this piece of paper with names on them and like a number and there was like this girl that was like crying because she had been trying to make line and apparently she wasn't there for any of her like the check-in times her number was candled candled canceled um and she was like a western foreigner so like most of the the fans that were making line were like either korean or like asian foreigner like from china or like japan or something because ironically enough we ended up sitting next to each other inside of the venue and i talked to her so yeah that was happening and so like like i felt bad for her and stuff like that and like the some of the girls in the line were like trying to comfort her and be like oh it's okay like you'll get a ticket and whatever um so like when that happened and then like also while that was happening these uh, two other girls came trying to get, join the line so then that's when i kind of like took the initiative and i like went there too and i was like oh can i get in line so i was able to get my name down on that paper and get like a place in line so i was like telling my friend the whole time um because she wanted to go too so that's like two of my friends so one of them was 
a friend I invited. Another one was um, my friend that I go to all the time with the concerts. Who was like we're in we do vlogs together. Um, so if you know her, so I was messaging her, Kelly. So she like rushed and came over, and she was able to like get. Like, she was literally, like, the last person that was allowed in line. Because right after she arrived, like, I told, like, those girls that were in charge of the line, like, oh, you know, she wants to join the line, too. So, like, they told her to just get in the back. And then they came later and gave her a number. And then, like, a staff member, like, security came and stood behind her. And I was like, okay, that's it. But then my other friend wasn't able to make it in line because the way this line was working was that you can only buy one ticket and then the ticket was going to be random. So, like... If you were with people, it's not guaranteed that you're going to be sitting together, which kind of sucks, but which is, it's weird because I've just never like experienced that before where like the ticket is random. You can only get one stuff like that. Like I've never seen that before. And then I think it's just kind of unfair, like that the company or like security is in charge of it. Cause then like the fans who are running it, then of course they're going to be like what first in line. So I don't know. I just... The method that was used, I just didn't really, I, th I just thought it was, like, unfair. And I just remember, like, one of the girls saying, like, when I was in the line, like, oh, if you have to use the bathroom, go fast, because if you're not here, when we move line, your number will be canceled. And I'm like, dude, like, using the bathroom is something, as a necessity. Like, how are you going to be like that? I don't even know if I'm going to put this in my video, but just, I wanted to talk about it. But yeah, I just didn't, I didn't like stuff like that, like, it was just, like, uncool to do, to do it in that way. But since I was already there, I figured I would just do it since I'm already in the line. Like, literally, I had my name on that list, and, like, I just felt stressed to try it again, like, another day, so I just went with it. And since I was already there, like, I did it. So, of course, we ended up getting the tickets, and... Yeah, so that's why I ended up going to the concert on Saturday. And plus, like, I wanted to buy the day of, because when you do that, it's still the same price, like the original price, because I didn't want to buy a resold ticket, like, for super expensive. So that's why I usually try to make line day of, if I just want to buy it for, like, the regular price. But yeah, so that's how that happened. But it was crazy, though. Like, if it wasn't for that girl sitting next to me, like, I would have never guessed this whole situation and I most likely would have ended up not even going to that concert last weekend crazy man crazy so yeah anyway I think that's it I showed all my merch and stuff if there's anything I forgot I guess I will show it later or something so yeah and then today's concert was freaking amazing amazing seats we were like in section 12 on the first floor, first, second floor. I don't know, I get confused. Not, not, basically not the floor standing, but the next one up. We were right next to that little stage thing. Oh my god. My fan cams, y'all, my fan cams. Dude. Oh my god, suddenly I got like super hungry. I need to eat. Oh my god. Oh my god. The concert, guys. Sorry for my, like, disgusting face. Our seats were so good. I'm just speechless right now. 